Hello and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says 150 workers were engaged to finish a job in a certain number of days. Four workers dropped out on the second day. Four more were dropped out on the third day and so on. It took eight more days to finish the work. Find the number of days in which the work was completed. Let us now start with the solution. And let 150 workers complete the work in N days. Therefore, one worker shall complete the work in 150 into n days and this further implies that one worker completes 1 upon 150 into n work in one day. And therefore, 150 workers complete 150 upon 150 into n work in one day. Now on the second day, four workers were dropped. Therefore, on second day, work done by 146 workers is equal to 146 upon 150 into N. And on the third day, four more workers were dropped. Therefore, on third day, work done by 142 workers will be equal to 142 upon 150 N. Now, in this manner, four workers are dropped daily. Therefore, it will take 8 more days to finish the work. And thus we can say that number of days to finish the work when 4 workers are dropped daily is equal to N plus 8. And the work done on the first day is 150 upon 150 into N. Work done on the second day is 146 upon 150 into N. Work done on the third day is 142 upon 150 into N. Plus so on. And the number of days are N plus 8. So the number of terms are also N plus 8. And this is equal to 1. Now taking... 1 upon 150 into n common, we have 150 plus 146 plus 142 plus so on up to n plus 8 terms. So, equal to 1 or we have 150 plus 146 plus 142 plus so on up to n plus 8 terms term is equal to 150 into n. Now let us find the sum of this AP sequence. Now here the first term is 150 and the common difference is minus 4. So the sum of these n plus 8 terms which are n plus 8 in number will be equal to n plus 8 upon 2 into 2 times the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 into the common difference which is minus 4. 
So this is equal to 150 into n. Or we further have n plus 8 into 300 plus n plus 7 into minus 4 is equal to 300n. Or this is further equal to n plus 8 into 300 minus 4n minus 28 is equal to 300n. Now opening the brackets we have 300n minus 4n square minus 28n plus 2400 on multiplying 8 with minus 4n we have minus 32n minus 224 this is equal to 300n now in cancelling we have 4n square plus 60n minus 2176 is equal to 0. Now taking 4 common, we have n square plus 15n minus 544 is equal to 0. Which further implies that n square plus 15n minus 544 is equal to 0. Now by splitting the middle term, this can further be written as n square plus 32n minus 17n minus 544 is equal to 0. Now taking n common from the first two terms and minus 17 from the last two terms this can further be written as n into n plus 32 minus 17 into n plus 32 is equal to 0. Or we have n plus 32 into n minus 17 is equal to 0. Now we know that if the product of two numbers is equal to 0 then at least one of them is 0. So this implies either n is equal to minus 32 or n is equal to 17 now, minus 32 is rejected since the number of days cannot be negative and hence n is equal to 17. And therefore, after dropping 4 workers each day, the number of days in which The work was completed is equal to n plus 8, that is 17 plus 8, which is equal to 25. Hence, our answer is 25 days. So, this completes the session. Take care and bye for now.